Capricorn. How we doing, Cappy? Cappy, Cappy. So Capricorn, I'm going to do the spread, um, what you can expect for the week. Second spread will be what you don't see coming. Third spread is Spirit's opinion on it. I see some high testosterone in your reading. High test. All right. Capricorn. High testosterone. I'd say so. Okay. What does Capricorn have? Yeah, very high testosterone. What does uh, Capricorn have? Okay. I don't know if you lift weights. I do not. Okay, um, <laughs> I have a, uh, most likely a man here with high testosterone, okay? He looked good. He looks very good. Most likely works out. And there's some delays here, and it's like I don't get it. I've been, you know, I've been doing everything for this person, I'm giving them gifts, and I'm doing this and I'm doing that, and it's just not right. You know, what's the hold up here? And I do see this person is receiving the gifts. You know, this person's grateful and everything. You know, this, ter this person is accepting dates and they're going out with you. They claim to love you or something. And I just feel like there's a guy here that's very upset because there's a female here not uh, putting out yet. Mm -mm. Um... I have a gentleman here just feels like this ain't right. This is not working. I also have a gentleman here. I don't know if you're, it looks like you're abusing a, a substance to get big in the gym. And you've put a lot of money into this. I think it worked at 
first. It did. You blew up quick. And then it's kind of like you're not seeing the gains or this or this product has quit working for you. It's, it's like it's not right. It's not fair. I don't understand. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Honey, I don't think this, I don't know if whatever this substance is that you've been investing in, paying for, it was working for a while. I don't know. It's something about the cycle. You need to cycle off because the devil is here. This has become obsessive. It's become toxic. There's some type of ingredient in this thing. If this is something you're drinking, whatever you're doing that gives you all this energy, it's very abusive. It's being abused. Somebody here has an obsession most likely with uh, going to the gym. This is a very high testosterone. It brought with it women. This is also somebody who could be doing it um, for sponsorship, like they're doing it for, you know, ads, like somebody is giving you this and it's come with gifts. You're getting admiration wherever you go. You're known for doing the, this stuff. You love it. You love the way it makes you feel. Um, it's been a complete blessing to you. But there's something here that you've ignored. Because there's a lot of stress on the body. It doesn't seem fair. I've done everything the right way. Why is this happening? Because there's something here that's in this substance that's not good. Your energy is here. This is almost like the evil side of you, baby. Somebody here is also talking about, what is the hold up here? Doing everything for somebody, giving them all this stuff. I do whatever they ask me to do. This person, you know, I love this person. This is so hard, it's not right. Why does it got to be this hard? It just doesn't seem just. It's not right. You know, why is this not happening? Why is this? Why am I being ignored? I have unfulfilled. I just don't feel it anymore the way I used to. Well, it's because it's a substance. And see, with any substance like this, um, it's going to take more and more and more to get the desired effect. And I think that somebody here has invested more. But they've hit like a plateau or something. Okay, you are moving in anorexic bulimic is here, okay? I do see somebody moving around, getting their ass in gear. And this could have been some type of weight gainer. This it's so, it's dangerous, baby. There's something about it makes you feel great and hard work and you just I get it I see it I see it I see it hard work heavy lifting okay done all this hard work I put my part in but the devil is here okay and it's dangerous whatever you're doing I love it, feels so good. I, you know, it's been a complete answered prayer for me. I've got energy. 
But whatever this is, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you're taking an action, Ace of Cups, you know, there's drinking here, whatever the substance you drink, it's had a lot of benefits to my life. I'm getting all this attention. The energy is great. I have higher tests. Um, you know, where can I get more of this? You know, I love this shit. There's something about it that's dangerous. It's like, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. I've done the hard work. I didn't just, you know, take a pill and magically get like this. You know, this just isn't right. I did everything the right way. You know, I put the work in, but baby, there's something here that's dangerous. The way you're moving, something about a sensitivity to a food or something. Maybe before you started this, you looked, you know, much thinner. Um, I do have somebody here, if this is a kid, this is somebody, um, you know, they've made friends with the new person. This person just doesn't see themselves anymore. They seem very stressed out. I think that this start, started off as a very healthy hobby. And somewhere along the lines, you know, there's some stuff here you don't know. Somebody's working their heart and they're working their body too hard. You're right, this is heavy lifting, but you're working your body too hard. This has become an obsession. You can no longer justify this. A lot of delays. You know, justice in reverse is delays. Two of wands in reverse is delays. What is the hold up? I've done all the hard work. What the fuck? You know, why am I not seeing the gains? Somebody here is also, I think if this is like lifting, you, honey, you see yourself every day. So you're not seeing how how far you've come. You see yourself every day. I do see gains, huge gains, but it's like this person, you're just not happy with yourself. You're too hard on yourself, hard worker. You're too you're being too hard on yourself. You know, there's what's taking so long? There's a bias here, and it's with you. You are the toxic energy in this. To, working yourself too hard and being too hard on you, Capricorn, okay? okay. Overall, your energy is good. I mean, I like you. What does Capricorn not see coming? Okay, there's something here that's not good with this substance, honey. Um, it feels like cardiac arrest. Death card with eight of swords. This feels very much like cardiac arrest. Do you see this? Eight of swords, that's arrest. Death card, that means no longer alive. Now, what part of you would happen? I don't know if this is a, um, what do they call that, aneurysm, a blood clot, uh, I don't know, but that's what it feels like. It feels like cardiac arrest. What, what do you not see? Which is a, this isn't right. I did everything right. What is the problem? What is the hold up? Okay. There's a risk here that, you, that you're taking. Oh, this is a big deal, baby. It's three majors. The Fool, the High Priestess, the Chariot. There's a risk here that you've been taking, okay? You know it, and I know it, and your gut knows it. 
You need to watch where you're going. You really need to watch where you're going. You know what? I think what they're asking is there's a risk here, okay? But your gut's been bothering you about how far are you willing to take this? You know, when is enough enough? Where do you intend to go with this? Yeah, baby, this is this is a disaster. This is all major arcana. The fool, the high priestess, the chariot, now the tower. There's a risk here that you've been taking. The this thing changes your life forever. As in ruin, this is disaster. It's does this risk, okay, with you, your eyes closed, you don't, you're not watching what you're doing. You was willing to take this risk for whatever reason you needed it, okay? Because there's potential here to go up and up and up and up and up. But there's some type of side effect here. The tower is here, honey. Change of plans. This secret here, there's something here that's a real blow to your ego. This is dramatic change. There's a risk here. You know, this is a huge blow. Something you just didn't see coming. Somebody here has results, huh? Oh my gosh, another one. Yeah, I don't know. You're getting all major arcana. I, I I can't even tell you the last time I've seen this much major arcana. You have no little players. This is all major. You just pull, you know, honey, do you feel lucky? Because somebody here has been taking one hell of a risk. You know, there's they're weighing the pros and they're weighing the cons. There's risk to this and whatever this is could change my whole life in a bad, bad way. But their gut is kind of like, I feel lucky. Also, there's something here that your intuition knows that there's divine timing on. It's only a matter of time. Yep, this is not good. Knight of Wands in a reverse. Okay, where do you want this to go? It's, you know, it's only a matter of time before you run out of fuel. Pushing your limits. This has become dangerous and it's become too much of a dangerous risk. And now there's confusion and there's dips, there's disruption. This thing's run out of fuel. The Knight of Wands in reverse is a dangerous risk. This is danger. You had danger. In this pal, we just we just went through this. Okay, this is taking a risk. This is it's blowing up. You know, and I know that this is a matter of time. This chariot, this thing's gonna pull up on you, and these risks will catch up with you that you've been taking. Me and you both know it. That it's only a matter of time. You you know it, and I know it. This is what you don't see coming. Um, it could be while you're driving. Oh, ambulance. I see it. You see it? Yeah. King of Swords and a challenge. You know, King of Swords is the sharpest guy. This is a guy that's no dumbass. He's very, very intelligent. But in a challenge position, what were you thinking? You know better. Honey, what were you thinking? This is somebody that's just let their head, this is your ego. Again, dealing with this ego. Arrogance, unkind, danger. You know, you may be some type of cop. Usually very fair. Keeps balance, keeps authority. Your judgment is clear. You are judgment, you are justice. This is known for being my cop card, but in a challenge position, there is arrogance here. Unkind, being unkind to yourself. You knew that this risk was dangerous, honey. You knew, whatever this is, you know it's, you know it's dangerous. 
Well, what you don't see coming, you knew that this was just a matter of time before it happened. More major arcana. Refusing to see the, I don't know, refusing to look at the back of the label. I, I mean, the hangman is refusing to see, it's a bias. It's refusing to see someone else's point of view. It's thinking it'll never happen to you. Your intuition knows it was a matter of time before these tables turn. There's been no forward movement, and your intuition knows that something major is on, it's on its way. You know this, because there's been no forward movement. I see you getting arrogant about it. I see you like, you know, it's like starting to fuck with you now. It's starting to fuck with my ego. I do see somebody's ego getting uh, angry, angry driving. Very arrogant, very obnoxious. This thing has grown very arrogant, very obnoxious, very obnoxious. The limits to which someone will go to take this very dangerous risk. And I do see bankrupt here, five of pentacles. How far are you willing to go for this? How much do you want to bankrupt yourself? Because there's financial loss here, sadness, regret, remorse. This is ruin, chaos. This is when, this is when an ambulance has to show up for you because this, this is be, this is a dangerous risk that catches up with somebody. This is injury, refusing to see it, refusing to see that it could happen to you, refusing to see somebody else's point of view. It's a matter of time. This is obnoxious, rude. Knight of Wands in reverse is a dangerous person. It's dangerous. They, they become obnoxious. They become rude. They become intolerable. I see people getting kicked out of places, refusing to see somebody else's point of view on it. Somebody is trying to talk some sense into you about this tower moment, this disaster, this impending doom. This is what you don't see coming, honey. I mean, you know, Wheel of Fortune is also a cycle. When do you think your time's going to be up? Do you see it? I mean, look at look at the way they looking back at him. Like, I don't know about this, boss. You sure? Because the one's already given up. This is like a heart attack. Like, one of us ain't pulling a weight. And it's like, no, damn it. I said go. Push. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Go get the money. Go get the money. Five of Pentacles. Go get the money. Go get the money. Yeah. Somebody here trying to push it. They, they how, What do y'all gym people say? There's something that the gym people say about the money. I forget. I mean, you know, I haven't been into the gym. I used to go all the time, religiously, sometimes twice a day. It is. It can get. Uh, it can get addictive. Uh, somebody here could be uh, pushing for sex too, with all this. Um, Testosterone. Yep, drink and drug problem. Okay. Yeah. I think somebody here is really doing a lot of damage to their body. I do. I also think that this person um becomes is slowly becoming someone else they're not realizing the toll that not only did it take on the body it's taking on the mind this person is pushing their limits or like on a double dare like i dare you you gonna do another cycle of this like they supposed to cycle off they ain't because they just didn't see they're not seeing the results they want you know so it's like raping the soil 
you know, how you're supposed to, um, farmers, like they put a crop out, not every year's the best crop, it really ain't. And then you gotta take, what, a season off or something? And as a double dare, it's like, no, push it, push it, push it, push it, go get the money, go get the money. This is dangerous to do. It's a drinking drug problem. Somebody here wants to rape the soil. They go, you know what I mean? They won't let the soil rest. You know what I'm saying? Look at him looking like the desert's bare. I don't know about this boss. And he got that whip in his hand. Go. This is dangerous. This is pushing your car too hard, pushing your body too hard. You're going you're gonna to regret this because this, this drinking drug problem, I don't know if somebody dared you to do it or you're, you're double daring yourself, but, uh, you know, you're raping your own body. You're raping it. Um, rape, what do you have here? Double dare. Drinking drug problem. Um, on another note, if I got a young man here, you know, I'm not gonna, I do think I got somebody here with a drinking drug problem and something going on at the gym. I just feel it too heavy, but I have something here about a rape and somebody here not putting out fast enough. And I feel like there's, you know, Something here, there's a little secret here. There's a time release substance, right? And somebody here is watching to see how someone's mood change. And this feels like somebody giving someone something to put them in the mood. Knight of Wands is my fuckboy card. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to take them here. I see somebody getting kicked out of their car. Or I see this uh, having a some type of reverse effect, you know, an unwanted effect on the person. This was dangerous to do to someone. This is a drinking drug. Uh, this this was dangerous to give somebody something, and I see an adverse reaction happening. Okay, or somebody here getting kicked out of their car. Absolutely. This was dangerous. Yeah, they they kicked their asses right out the car. I don't know about this. I don't know. What your friends are up to or what you up to. All right, Spirit, what is your advice on this? Judgment on the Six of Pentacles. Go get the money. Go get the money. Yeah, somebody here really wants all the gifts and all the gains. And they, for the most part, this person has good judgment. Um, it's kind of like, are you seeing what Spirit see? Because you've already been gifted. You've got more than what you're aware of. But it's like seeing yourself in a mirror every day. Somebody here is very judgmental over money and very judgmental over what others has or they compare themselves. They're very judgmental about that kind of thing. Uh, could be the women that, you know, if I'm talking to a man or this woman, you're very hard on yourself. Uh -huh, because they're looking at all the stuff that they see um, on online or, you know. You know, this is the way people want to see women. This is the way people want to see men. This is what they love. This is what they like to see. This is what gets the attention. Spirit said it's a seven of swords. You know, it's a matter of time. This um, sneaky, lying, cheating behavior. It's in a challenged position. One day. Right now, it's in a challenged position. Meaning somebody here is kind of getting away with it. But in the reverse, this is going to be out there. This is getting caught. But right now, it's in a challenge position. So you're not quite caught yet. It hasn't quite caught up to you yet. Uh -huh. But you've been doing it for a long time, Knight of Pentacles. There's somebody here lying, stealing, cheating. She kind of, okay? I don't want to take that into excess here. Somebody's been, she kind of, getting away with it. You know, their luck hasn't run out yet. And they've been doing it for a long time. This is, they've been doing it for a long time. And they've been getting the gains of it. They've been getting the financial work. This is somebody that you trust. Knight of Pentacles is a very trusted knight. And it's a slow process. And somebody here wants to speed things up. There's a warning. There's a warning. You know, Seven of Cups talks about warning. Be careful about which one of these cups you choose. Uh, 
Oh, Lord, there is a cop here accusing somebody of something that could put them asses in jail. There's somebody here that also needs to be practical about the decisions they're making, how they want to overcome challenges, because this has just turned into some type of obsession that you can't get your mind off of. Um, this is also somebody accusing you of lying, stealing, and cheating. This person crazy. Argumentative. So there's a cop talking about locking somebody ass up too forever. Forever, ever. Something's been going on here for a while and it's making somebody combative and argumentative and mean. This person, you know, if this is you, I, very upright, very authoritative takes control of situations is the person that is counted on to overcome big problems. So not only are you the muscle, but you're the mind. You know, there's something, it's I spot thieves like this every day. This is what I do for a living. I do think I'm talking to a cop, somebody in, um, King, King of Swords is my cop card. And I got a thief here that typically would be in jail, okay? And Hierophant here is in a challenge position, you know. And if, it is, if it's not something severe, you know, say this does feel so, like drug abuse, something of being abused. You're still getting away with it. It's still working. And I think this, whatever this is, it really helps your focus. It helps you overcome challenges. It keeps your head clear. But there's a problem because now things are getting foggier. Things are changing. This is having an adverse reaction to something. It worked till it doesn't work. Um, the Hierophant's be in a challenge position. So the Hierophant, you would typically um, trust this person. You depend on them for knowledge and wisdom. In the challenge position, you know, this could be going to a doctor. And this is what this doctor does for a living. They may have prescribed this for you. And they, they're they like, I don't understand. You know, I'm going to try to overcome this challenge here. But this just might be a second opinion. But if you're not being completely honest with this doctor about what you're taking, I mean, I don't know how you want him to help you. You know, there is somebody here that does something for work. Very dependable, very reliable. But, you know, it's somebody that's the mind and the muscle here. Yeah, baby. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Not learning a lesson. Somebody here is getting away with something for a long time. I see some accusations here. Could send somebody to jail for a while. Change your life forever. Somebody here works for the feds, works for the popo. Somebody here is just not getting, getting it. Not getting the lesson, not getting the fucking point, not understanding why this isn't working anymore. The hermit's in a challenge position. Better think long and hard about what could change your life for the rest of it, okay? There's a whole bunch of cups here. Now, I don't know what that is with you, but there's a drinking drug problem here. Um, you know, there's contracts here. And somebody here is tending to spend more time alone. But it's also in a challenge position. It's someone ignoring their intuition, also being a little shallow, um, dating a whole bunch of people. Refusing to learn new things. You can't uh, teach an old dog new tricks. This is a know-it-all. Whatever this is, I think me and you both know what it is without me coming out and saying it. If you've been doing it for a while, I think you've tried other You've tried, you know, a couple different things out there on the market, but I want you to know that this is making you very angry. Three of Pentacles in reverse, you don't have any patience. It's fucked with your patience. Um, it's making you quick to anger. It's fogging your brain. 
I think that you're asking someone that you admire for uh, wisdom. You know, well, I don't understand. You know, this was working for a while and it's not anymore. I, I want you to be careful because you admire somebody here that's possibly, you know, this is a mentor to you. But see, this mentor of yours also cuts corners, now don't they? Very upset, very angry. Now go get your fucking shine box. It, uh, you know. That was for somebody, I don't know. Go get your fucking shine box. I don't know what that means. You know, what option do I have? You know, there's contract here. Think long and hard about how this shit's gonna change your life. There's warning here. There's a side effect warning here. Everything's good today, but there's isolation here. There's somebody here that needs to look deeper into something. Um, start monitoring your moods more or somebody else's. If this is a uh, prescription, I think that it worked for a while and now it's having some type of reverse reaction to something. On the flip side of this, um, whoever, if there's a gentleman out here who's been getting away with something for a little bit, uh, this is the warning on that. This little lover situation, taking this person off to the deep, deep woods or something. Uh, somebody here is very confused, accusing somebody they work with or something. I got the police here. There was an argument here. This person lost their cool. Yeah. This is not the typical person that would be accused of such a act and I do see there's an investigation here is what I'm saying there's some type of rape charge here somebody thinks they got away with it they've been getting away with it it's a matter of time I see an investigation on that but the issue is there's so many damn products out there now to help with this type of libido type of issue that you know there's something here going on with testosterone now I could be talking to two, two different people. I could be talking to the same person about, you know, whatever we're talking about. But I want you to think long and hard about the ad, uh, adverse reactions this could have on your life. And you, this is the warning. Seven of Cups is a warning. Think long and long, think long and hard. Because Seven of Swords is in a challenge position means you're kind of getting away with it right now. If this is a product that's being abused, and I have a strong suspicion it is, it may not have uh, completely passed FDA. Like, it's legal sometimes, or it's legal partially, or however the hell that is. Like, it's marketable, but all the research is, all the stats aren't in on it long term. You know what I'm saying? And there's other people out here that are talking about this. These are professionals. Um, these are also people talking about not being able to get over... Um, certain humps in their life, you know, hitting plateaus, being stuck somewhere. You know, this worked for me. This is testimonials. This is for people that still have fight left in them, but they're going to be willing to do the work. But there's adverse reactions to this. There's warnings to this. But I see the, the desire here is, you know, I want more. I want more shit. I want more women. I want more love. I want more atten uh, attention. Start looking into some of these adverse warnings about some of the people, what they're saying. Three of Pentacles on the reverse. So you're not learning the lessons the hard way they had to. You know what I mean? Uh, nine of Wands, this is the hard way. Don't, you know, learn off of somebody else's testimonial here. Three of Pentacles in reverse. It's not learning the lesson. You know, there could be other options out there for you. Whatever you're taking is not the right, right one. And there's something here you're being urged to look into. Um, something here in the writing. Look at the writing to find print on this. Just may have been, you may be on the wrong substance here. 
or you're doing something um, in private, you know, to help your libido or something. I don't know. I feel like it's all all the same thing, you know, whatever it is that we're talking about here. Um, that's it. I hope it helps you, Capricorn. Take care.